Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 33 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us find out LCM in a smarter way by prime factorization method. So as you had seen before that prime factorization method helped in finding HCF of two numbers. So it made the process of finding HCF easier. So here also we will see how we can find by prime factorization. So now let us say we have to find out LCM of 8 and 12. So what we do, we prime factorize 8 and we will do it for 12 as well. So this is what we get. So we can write 8 as 2 into 2 into 2. In a similar way we factorize 12. So 2 6 is a 12, 2 3 is a 6, 3 1 is a 3. So basically 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3. So till here the process remains the same as it was for HCF. But in this case we have to find LCM. So basically we are looking at multiple and we are not looking at the factors. Now here what we do is, what are the prime factors that are involved in this case? So the prime factors involved here, so prime factors involved are 2 and 3. So 2 is getting repeated a number of times, again 3 is getting repeated some number of times. But the prime factors which are involved in the entire scenario is 2 and 3. Now 2 occurs how many times? So in case of 8, 2 occurs 3 times and in case of 12, 2 occurs 2 times. So 2 occurs for maximum how many times? 3 times. Right? Because in case of 12, 2 occurs 2 times. In case of 8, 2 occurs 3 times. So which is more where 2 occurs for maximum number of times? It occurs for 3 times in 8. Similarly, where 3 occurs maximum number of times, 3 occurs maximum number of time, 1 time in 12. Right? Now, when we have to find LCM, what we say? LCM will be equal to the maximum number of times where a prime factor occurs. So, 2 occurs here. So, basically LCM will be equal to 2 into 2 into 2 this multiplied by the maximum number of times the other prime factor occurs that is 3 occurs one time. So this is equal to 2 to the 4 to the 8 into 3 24. So LCM of 8 and 12 would be 24. So basically what do we do here is we do not look for common factors. Here we look for those factors which occur maximum number of times because we are looking for multiples here. We are not looking for factors. So we see how many times a particular in which place or for which number a particular prime factor has occurred maximum number of times. So we pick it up there. So here 2 occurred more number of times in 8. How many times? 3 times. So we picked up 3 times 2 from 8 and we picked up 1 times 3 because 3 occurred maximum number of times 1. 1 time in 12 and 3 did not occur at all at 8. So therefore the LCM became 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So this is one example. If, if you feel that it is complicated, let us look at another example. Now let's look at example number 2 where we will find out LCM of 15 and 20. So here also we will perform the prime factorization method. So for, with prime factorization method we can write 15 is equal to 3 into 5. Similarly for 20 also we, if you do prime factorization method so you find that 20 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5. So which are the prime factors that are involved in this case? What are the prime factors involved? 3, 5 and 2. So 2, 3, 5 are the prime factors which are involved in this case. So where 2 occurs maximum number of times? So in 15, 2 doesn't occur at all. And in 20, 2 occurs how many times? 2 times. So 2 occurs maximum 2 times. What about 3? Three? 3 occurs maximum 1 time in 15 because 3 doesn't occur in 20 at all. What about 5? 
five occurs one time in both 15 and 20 so the maximum number of time that five occur is also one time in each case it is like one time one time so it is one time therefore what would be the lcm lcm would be two into two because two occurs two times into three because three occurs one time into five because five also occurs one time so two to the four into three twelve into five sixty Therefore, LCM of 15 and 20 is equal to 60. So, this is how we find out LCM by prime factorization method. So, let us quickly uh, review the method. What we do is, first you factorize both the numbers. You write them as product of the, their prime factors. Then you find out what are the prime factors they, that are involved. So, you make a note of them, then see for each prime factor, where do they occur maximum number of times. For example, here 2 occurs maximum 2 times in this case. So, 2 will be multiplied 2 times. 3 occurs maximum 1 time. So, it will be 1 time multiplied. 5 occurs maximum 1 time. Here also you have 1, 5. Here also you have 1, 5. So, 5 also occurs maximum 1 time. So, in this way you find LCM as 60. Now, there is... Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.